All right, picked these up off Amazon, straight out of Chino. So uh, what this is is a uh, tire pressure tire pressure monitoring system or TPMS. The way it works for the Cobra is you take one of these these big giant things here and put it on your uh, the Schrader valve on your uh, each wheel, and then this is your wrench evidently to lock it down. We're gonna scan this QR code. Of course, I haven't read the directions. I'm not planning on it. I'm just gonna see how easy it is. Okay, so I got another phone to video while I use my phone to take this off. <clears throat> so you don't even have to open the app. So I'll leave the app closed. Leave it right here. Now here's the TPMS. Take it off. Now you have to put this chrome piece on there, this chrome nut, to, to hold it in place. And you can hear it. vibration and are already starting to complain. Right front tire leaks. Right front tire leaks. So I can open it up, take a look at the app, and it's showing me the tire pressure, I mean the pressure at the bottom, and the temperature of each tire. So this is the right front, that's the one I just took off. And if you look, right there where it says TPMS, it's also got an arrow, which means that it's the right front. So I'm going to put this nut on, because I should have put that on to begin with. Now since I had the Bluetooth stereo system in the car, when she starts complaining about the tire, you don't go through the speakers in the car. Yeah, this thing is. All the other three have been fine. This one here is kind of, kind of a pain. So this is a 14 millimeter. If you uh, I just tighten it up that way. And she's still complaining. So now it's going to start reading. 33 PSI already. And now that she shut up, I can uh, tighten this up. And it's just a jammed up, just tightens it up. It's plastic, so you can't tighten it too tight. And then the wrench, you can actually fold it up, put it in your glove box, or wherever you store them in your Cobra or car. And uh, you got it if you need to put some air in the tire. You could probably turn this and break it free, but remember it's plastic and brass, so you probably want to take the jam nut loose. Or you can use a 14. But that's how it works. Pretty cool, actually. And it's all hidden away, except for that big thing there.